In this video, we're going to use Power Query to transform this ugly holiday leave entitlements report, which was exported into Excel from a popular Australian accounting system called MYOB. We're going to put it into a tabular format, which will be much more useful. Now, this report is not only ugly in appearance, but it's also ugly from an Excel point of view because it's virtually unusable with any of Excel's tools like pivot tables, aggregating functions like SUMIF and COUNTIF, to name a few. So the first thing we want to do is select the data we want to work with. Now, I've actually already formatted it into an Excel table. So there it is there. And then on the Power Query tab, we're going to select From Table. This opens the Power Query editor window. And the first thing we want to do in here is start removing some of the rows that we don't need. So in the Entitlements column, we're going to get rid of the nulls and the blanks. And because my window is small, we can't see the bottom. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and then we'll try again. Okay, so no nulls, no blanks, and we don't need the totals either. I'll click OK. Now I should be able to resize my window. Okay, and in the values column, we want to get rid of the zeros. Okay. Now we're left with just the name and the type of entitlement in the entitlements column and then the values. So now what we want to do is move or copy these values up onto the rows with the names. But first of all, we need to get rid of the nuns in this column. So I'm going to replace them. On the Home tab, we can go Replace Values, just like in Excel. So we want to replace star none. Now, Power Query is case sensitive, so you have to make sure you type it in as it appears in the cell. And we're replacing with null now. In Power Query, null is the equivalent of blank. Now we've got our nulls, we can use the Fill tool to fill up those values into the null, uh, into the null cells. So on the Transform tab, we'll go Fill and Fill Up. OK. So the next thing we want to do is split out the name and the entitlement type into two columns. So to do that, we need to add a column for an index column, and we can just use the from zero, that's fine. So that will just number every row from zero through to however many rows we have. And then from there, we need to add another column. So with index selected on the add column tab, we go to standard. What we want is the modulo column. So I'll select that. Now it's going to ask us to enter a number in here from which to find the remainder for each value in the column. Well, that's a bit confusing. The easiest way for me to remember this is we want to enter the index number for the first line of the second record. So this is the first line of the first record, and this is the first line of the second record because this is the second person, and the index number is two. So the value we enter in there is two, now we'll click OK. So now every row is numbered 0 and 1. So every record, the name is number 0 and the entitlement type is 1. So now what we can do is actually pivot this entitlements column and split these names and entitlement types out. So with the modulo column selected, on the Transform tab, we're going to pivot. And we're pivoting the entitlements column. And in the advanced options, we actually want don't aggregate because obviously when you pivot something, it wants to aggregate the data. We don't want it aggregated, we just want to pivot it so we separate the two types of information in this column. So I'll click OK. All right, so now we have our names in one column and our entitlement type in another. We're going to use the fill up tool to copy the entitlement type up to the row above with the name. So fill up. Now we can go ahead and get rid of the extra rows with which contain null. So I'm just going to filter those out. OK, we're getting there. So we don't need the index column anymore. I'm just going to select it and delete it. And I want to rearrange my columns. So I'm just going to click and drag them into place. I'll rename this column name. Just double click the column header to rename entitlements. OK, and the next thing I want to do before I'm ready to load it into Excel is to give my query a name, Entitlements. Now, one of the amazing things about Power Query, and it's very similar to VBA when you record a macro, is Power Query records all the steps that we've taken. You can see them here. So 
we haven't had to learn any complicated programming language. It's all been very point and click kind of stuff. But next month, when I get my new ugly entitlements report, I can simply use this query again. I don't need to go through all these steps again. It's going to remember all these steps and I can just refresh the query and it will pick up the new data. So I'm ready to load it into Excel. I might just do one more thing. Let's sort these names in ascending order and I'll just set the data type for the value to a decimal number. Okay, so now I can close and load and I've got a couple of options. I can load it into a table or just create a connection to this original source. I'm going to put mine in a table and I just need to tell it where to put it. So let's put it on a new worksheet and I'll click load. So there I have all my data for my holiday leave in a proper tabular format. I can go ahead and use all of the Excel tools the way they were designed to work and easily summarize and analyze this data. And next month, when I get my new report, I can reuse this query, put my new data in here or copy the query to another file and simply refresh, right click, oh, you can't see it's off the screen, right click and refresh the query and it will update this report for me. I don't have to redo any of those steps. So there you have Power Query transforming this ugly MYOB report into something much more useful. Thanks for watching.